Yeehaw, everybody, <laughs> and welcome to Booster's Garage, first episode, or what is it, is it Garage de Booster, or something like that. Anyway, um, this is from the first Sprint Enduro of the year. I went to this thing totally out of shape, and needless to say, my lungs got filled up with a bunch of crap, and I got sick right ass after it, and, uh... I ended up with like, um, like not a bad case of pneumonia, but like kind of like uh, like a lingering case of like a mild type pneumonia thing. I don't, I don't even know how to explain it. I didn't go to the doctor, but I had like fluid in my lungs for like a month. So that set me back and I was planning on doing some races. Um, as you guys have known from last season, I cut back on racing a bit. I'm spending like more time with the family and doing camping and things like that, you know. Um, just spending more Sundays doing fun things with the kids and the wife, you know. Things that we can do together rather than things I'm just kind of doing on my own. Which is actually why I like the Sprint Duros because I feel like it's something more that we can do together than the hair scrambles. Um, but anyway, later on... In the summer here, I got a piece of metal in my eye working on one of the projects that I'm working on, and it was it wasn't very good. It uh, I had to go in and have two little like procedures done on my eye. One was with like a, a needle that they were jamming in there trying to get the the metal out, and then the other one was with a Dremel. And it's been it's been a couple weeks now since that happened. And I, my vision still hasn't really come back in my right eye. So I'm not really wanting to go out here and and race. I, I'm taking some time off. And I don't know when I'm going to be back doing it again. Because I just, I can't see. I can't see out of my right eye. Like, I don't have the depth perception. It, it's not right. And everything's just kind of foggy and hazy. So I don't know when I'm going to be back actually racing. I do plan on actually attending like a race or two, even if I'm not going to race, just to uh, like shoot some video and and uh, j just watch everybody race. It'll be a good time. Anyway, this is the first episode of Garage or Garage. How did I spell it? G R G A R A J E Garage. I don't know how you would pronounce that in Espanol, but. This is the first episode of that on some of the little projects that I've got going around the house. I figured I would put a video out. Actually, what convinced me to do this was the pastor at my church was like, Hey, man, when are you going to start making videos? Like, I haven't watched a video from you in a long time. What are you doing with the channel? Are you doing anything? So, yeah, let's. here we go. This is the, uh, the first episode. I don't think it's going to be very good because it's the first episode and I've never really made a video like this before but we're going to throw it together and we're going to see what happens so anyway guys this is episode 1 Booster's Garage here we go okay so what we got going on here today is I'm doing some plasma cutting on uh, on my plasma table here and uh, we've got the fire and steel fabrications laptop and I'm building these little brackets right here. And what they are is I bought this cheap Arbor Freight press. And I want to put these casters on the bottom of it. So I want to make brackets to weld to the bottom to where I can bolt these up. And I'm going to make these and I'm going to see, uh, I want to see just how close they come out. Um, besides that, what I've got going on is, let me check this down here. Let's see, actually, I don't have it pulled up. I'm making my uncle like a retirement gift, I guess, a sign. And he he raises chickens, so this kind of, uh, I don't know, just a little wall hanging type thing. We're going to end up cutting that out, too. So we'll see how all this turns out. And oh, we got pictures. I'm over here. I'm actually at my dad's right now working on uh, his computer. But, uh... Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna see how this turns out. So here I'm running a simulation to see how everything's gonna be cut out to make sure everything is going to uh, flow right. And we're gonna we're gonna take the actual drawing from like a CAD drawing and move that over to a, to a CAM software so that we can convert it over and uh, get everything ready to cut. Thank you. 
So all in all, I think this uh, this little, I, I don't know if it's a sign or a wall plaque or what it is, but I, I think it turned out pretty good, you know. Um, my uncle, like I said, he, he worked for years. He's having his little retirement party here, and uh, he, he raised chickens. And my aunt, she's really into like sort of what I would call like a rural decor um, she really likes kind of the rustic type look things and I think the sign turned out pretty nice I like the shape of it and everything it, it kind of reminds me of something you'd see like in a an old gas station or something like that and I really like the 40 foot chicken next to the barn that's that's probably my favorite part about it <laughs> but I, I think they'll be pretty happy with it and I think it's a it's a lot it's a lot cooler than like getting somebody a watch or, or buying them something like that. You know, this is something that that my my dad and I put together and we made and and I think it'll be it'll be a lot neater than something that's just bought it's from the store. Casters right here, and I I measured it out with a little plastic ruler that one of my kids had. So I want to see exactly how close I got by just using the uh, CAD software inside and a little plastic ruler. And uh, so we have the bracket here. This just came off the plastic table. Let's see how she actually lines up here. It's like it's a little off just a hair right there. Could have been a little bit longer heat it just a little bit. I don't know. I don't I don't think it looks all that bad. Actually now that I look at this here on the right side, well let's get my finger in there on the right side right here. <coughs> you can see that this one right here is a lot thicker than that one right there. That's pretty thin whereas that's thicker. And that one's another thicker one, and then we've got another thin one over here. So, I mean, these these casters came out of China. I bought them for like 30 bucks on Amazon. So I'm going to say my part, where it's even there, even there, even all the way around, I'm going to say my part's good. The problem's with China. <laughs> American made, China made. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll say it's their fault. <laughs> it looks like a bomb went off out here. Let's see, let's do a little spin around all the stuff we got in here with the girls with the girls right back up here over my shoulder and me restoring a car right here is the Volkswagen that's what it looks like it is broke down about as far as you can break it down um, I got the tires just laying all over the place and it's it's not easy to restore a car in a two-stall garage when you've got dirt bikes and you've got uh, you've got a quad over there and then we got our power washer and I got, I got two generators sitting over here and just all kinds of stuff I got one two welders in here uh, we got a, we got a lot of stuff but anyway let's take a walk on over here and look at the press this is the press I'm putting together and I got uh, I got the caster here and I got the little brackets that I'm putting together. And what I need to do is I need to weld them off there on those feet. And that's actually what I'm good at. I mean, this car stuff right here, I mean, I gotta go online a lot for that, look at different stuff. Um, I've got books on it for how to restore this thing. The only thing that's left in this is the, uh, the transmission here and the axle. Everything else is pretty much, oh, I still got front shocks. The back shocks are off though, except for this little bolt. There's one little guy right there. He was holding the, uh, he was holding the back shock on and he won't come out so we're, we're gonna deal with him a little later but right here this welding stuff this is this is my bread and butter I, I, I can do this so let's uh let's get at it first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna knock off a little paint down there on the feet and then uh, then we'll we'll get these little guys attached right here I'm using the uh, link in the NR-211 self shield inside of this little cheap Hobart I've got right here it's pretty good just for welding on you know just little odds and ends inside of the garage. I don't have my big heavy duty welder over here. That's actually over in my dad's barn right now. So this, this gets us by, it, it does the job, it does all right.
Okay, so all in all, not too bad. It's a little hazy in here, but I didn't want to open the garage door because if I open the garage door, all of my air conditioning is going to get out. But they went on there. They went on there pretty nice. Okay, so. This is the finished product on the press here. Um, you can see, it looks pretty good. All painted up and on there. The brackets look pretty good. They look better than factory to me. I mean, shoot, this is Harper Freight. Now I can move it around. It's got brakes. Looks pretty good. Okay, so that pretty much wraps up the uh, first episode of Booster's Garage. What you're looking at right now, that's actually the uh, Volkswagen that I'm restoring. And I'm not just going to restore it to be like a normal Volkswagen Beetle. What I'm actually restoring it to is what's called a Baja Bug. It's kind of like a cross between a Dune Buggy and a Volkswagen Beetle. And it's, it's so that I can take my family off-road and, and have my whole family kind of enjoy uh, off-roading with me. I didn't really want to buy one of the Polaris Razors or one of the Can-Ams or anything. They're cool, they look like fun, but I don't know, just something about putting the work into it and kind of the old styling of it. I like the retro aspect. I'm gonna I'm gonna paint this thing up. It's gonna be glittery and sparkly as like a 1970s speedboat with like the quarter inch metal flake type stuff. That's what I want it to look like. I want it to look old school like that and I just want it to be a lot of fun for the whole family so that we can go out and go camping and enjoy enjoy off-roading pretty much together so I'm gonna be working a lot more on this car and if you guys are interested in actually watching videos like this I mean I guess let me know I'm probably gonna be making them anyway whether you let me know or not but if you've got any questions if you're interested in like the plasma table or if you want to see videos on restoring the car and I'm actually gonna be using the plasma table a lot for making custom stuff for this car so I don't know. I, I, I guess uh, whatever you guys are interested in seeing, I, I have actually not a whole lot of direction that I'm planning on going with this. I'm planning on just winging it. But if you guys like give me suggestions on like what parts you'd like to see worked on or or if you're curious about seeing custom stuff made with the table or what all, I'm interested in making some of that. I mean, I've 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 got a little bit of time right now. I'm down for the summer, so besides camping and doing those sorts of things, I'm not racing or maintaining my bikes anyway. So, anyway guys, this is Booster, and this is the first episode of Booster's Garage. I hope it didn't suck too bad. I'll catch you guys later.